Okay, so good morning and good evening, everyone. My name is Celia Go, and I'm the part of St. Anthony High School International Student Admission Team. And thank you for your time joining our virtual event tonight. I work very closely with our international students and their families who are interested in studying in private high schools in the U.S. If you have any questions or concerns about the school and the international program, please feel free to contact me after this event, and I'll be happy to assist you with all your questions. And tonight, three of our amazing student ambassadors will lead you to explore the high school life in New York. Chang Wen, class of 2022, will share his experience with the school's tennis varsity game. And Clara Zhou from class of 2023 will share her experience with the student business classes. Marissa, Marissa Romano, class of 2022, will share her experience as a part of student council team. So all of them are highly talented and highly achieving students in many different areas. I'm honored to have all of them as part of my student ambassador team. And tonight, our director of campus operations for international students, Kevin Dolan, is here as our special guest. And first, please allow Kevin to introduce himself and he will be happy to answer all your questions at the end of this section as well. Kevin, please. Great, thank you so much, Celia. And hi, everybody. Um, and first, I want to say a big thank you to Marisa, Clara, and Trong. Um, it is so awesome to have you guys here and to be able to share your experiences at St. Anthony's and with, with Amerigo. Um, you know, it's a, it's a really special community, and it's special because of, of students just like you guys. So um, thank you so much. Um, but uh, again, my name is Kevin Dolan. I'm the Director of Campus Operations. And so I want to um, I'll talk a little bit about our, our team here at Amerigo. Um, we are we are located every day inside of St. Anthony's. We have an international student office, um, and we're here to support you. Uh, we want to make sure that you have everything you need to be successful and reach your goals inside of the classroom and outside of the classroom uh, while you're with us. Um, so that means, um, you know, of course, you know, getting into the college of your dreams, um, but also, you know, small things like getting the class that you want to, for your for your schedule. Um, help with your host family or with your residents that we'll talk about in a minute. Um, you know, advice about a, a club or how to sign up at the school, uh, sports, um, or just to talk about, you know, the best place to get pizza in Long Island. <laughs> uh, we we want to make sure that you have, have you know, you, you have a home here at St. Anthony's, um, you know, just for our international students and you feel like you're, you're a part of the community and you have a, a, a people to talk to and support you know, while you're here, because um, I'm, I'm so impressed, all of us here are so impressed with our, with our students. Um, I was actually saying before the call, uh, how impressed I was, um, you know, with Clau, Chong, Marisa, the rest of the students we have. Um, it's, it's amazing what you all do to come, you know, to a new country, a new culture, a new education system, in a new language, um, you know, at, as a teenager. It's an incredibly brave thing to do. Um, in pursuit of your goals, and uh, I'm so, you know, respectful of that. Um, I can, I, I have my own children. I think of myself when I was a teenager, and I, I'm not sure I could do what what you guys do. So, um, we're, we're it's, it's it's amazing to be a part of your journey, and I'm I'm so excited uh, to talk to you a little bit more about our program, and and um, and so excited that you know you potentially will, will be a part of it. Um, but. St. Anthony's is a fantastic school. I know Celia will talk a little bit more about that, but um, it, it truly is a, a really unique place. Um, it, there's, you know, it, an amazing array of possibilities uh, for, for you. Every class that you can possibly have at a high school level is, is available to you. Uh, every resource at a high school level is available to you. Um, clubs, after school programs, sports, um, at really the highest level that um, the, you know, American education system offers uh, in, in, in high school. It's a, it's a really special place. Um, you know, in, in addition, we have um, an awesome home state program, um, which is uh, really unique. I mean, our students are placed with local uh, families uh, from Long Island, um, you know, close to the school, a part of the community. Uh, many of our host families are connected with to St. Anthony's in a variety of ways. They may actually work at St. Anthony's. Often they have a student that goes to school at St. Anthony's. Um, you know, but you, it really gives our students an opportunity to feel even more a part of, um, of the local community and the St. Anthony's community. Um, and of course, have a, a safe, comfortable, you know, welcoming place to live 
um, while they're while they're here in an added support network in addition to the, the team at St. Anthony's. Um, and then also we have um, a, a new next year. We're so ex I'm so excited about a new uh, a residential program. So we'll be opening um, a, a dormitory or a student residence um, in the fall. Um, and I, I'm, I'm thrilled uh, to, to, to say that it's a, a really, really special environment that we create for our students. We have a live-in team of residential staff there available really 24 hours a day to make sure that, um, again, you're, you're supported in and outside of the classroom. Um, there's a variety of programs we could talk a lot about, but I'll, I'll touch on briefly. We have a university advantage program that every step of the way has experts in that field um, you know, advising you and helping you working in conjunction with the uh, university uh, guidance counselors at St. Anthony's to help you plan and take the right steps from your freshman year until your senior year when you're accepted into your university uh, to make sure that you find the right college that's a good fit for you. Uh, we have um, after school support programs for, um, especially for English, to make sure that you have the support, of course, um, you know, from the perspective of, of, of new language acquisition. Um, so of course, when you're, you know, we have language classes, English classes, but, but you know, maybe more importantly, when you're in biology class, there's a, a, a whole array, you know, for example, of new vocabulary that is, is gonna be challenging and is gonna be an obstacle in your way in being successful in that biology class. We'll have, um, you know, co programs coordinated with St. Anthony's after school led by our teachers um, to help to su support you in those classes so that English is, is not an obstacle for you, whether it be, you know, math, English, uh, you know, English literature, uh, biology, you know, science, business classes, um, lots of support. Um, and then, of course, we also have, um, like I said, a fantastic support staff there that lives on site available to, uh, available to you that lead uh, awesome excursions and activities that help integrate you into the community and get you to explore, um, you know, New York City. Uh, just a short step away, um, and uh, the local Long Island community, but um, but it's it's a it's a fantastic community and one that uh, Celia will talk more about. But I am um, very excited to 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 hopefully you know, introduce you to and welcome you to um, come next year or, or years to come. Um, so I'll um, I'll leave it there and maybe hand it back to Celia. But um, but really, thank you so much for attending this call and uh, excited to potentially get to know you more. Thank you, Kevin. So, and now I would like to show you a quick VR video tour for those who have never personally been to the school before to understand what St. Anthony High School looks like and what kind of facilities it offers to our students and families. So let's see this tour. Let me share my screen. Are you able to listen to it or there's no voice? There's no voice for that? Okay. I'll be attending the United States Military Academy at West Point next year. Uh, my favorite thing about St. Anthony's is the wonderful relationships that all of the students are able to have with the staff. I know no other school where a student is able to have such a great friendship with their own principal. I love St. Anthony's High School because of the happiness and positive energy that just flows through the walls. Now, let's take you on a tour. This is our school library. It includes a quiet area and a collaborative area. In the back, we have a maker space with a 3D printer, adult coloring puzzles, and of course, we have a lot of books. 
Um, there's also 24-7 access to all of the resources from the library. And one of our library resources is free peer tutoring from all honor societies. So if you're ever struggling in a course, you're more than welcome to get one of your peers to tutor you. This is our school auditorium. Throughout your time here at St. Anthony's, you will have the option to take courses in theater and join the improv troupe, stage crew, and... I think the video is a little bit lagging. In the theater club, you put on performances and plays. In addition, we use this auditorium for school masses, concerts for the band, orchestra, and chorus, and large gatherings. This is our school cafeteria. It is open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and includes international options, breakfast food and lunch food, cold and hot, drinks, snacks, and students can come in here throughout the day at any time and just hang out with their friends and get something to eat. This is our school gym. We hold many athletic competitions, including basketball games, wrestling matches, and volleyball games. We also have pep rally in here, which is when we gather the entire school to come and celebrate our full sports team before the first home football game. In addition to that, while at St. Anthony's, you will have the opportunity to take gym classes. We will be able to come in here and play games like kickball, badminton, basketball, and field hockey. This is the student center that includes our indoor track and field. Here we host indoor track meets and sporting events, including intramural sports for all students to, to participate in. You don't have to be part of an official sports team to come down to intramurals, and it's just a time for students to gather and play fun sports and have a good time. Behind me, you will see tables set up. We have a secondary cafeteria due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our school takes safety extremely seriously, and hopefully may is cleared out soon. Everybody can go back into the big cafeteria. This is our school chapel. We have daily masses here, uh, done by usually our resident priest, Father Mike. He's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> This is our new business center. It was recently opened this fall. Uh, right now behind me is Mr. Alloy teaching our intro to business course. Other courses like that that St. Anthony's offers are marketing, macroeconomics, microeconomics, uh, business law, and through courses like that, I have been able to get a Microsoft Excel certification, financial literacy certification, and it has opened so many wonderful doors for me. Uh, St. Anthony's has become very business-oriented, and it has been incredibly wonderful. This is our innovation center. Here we provide students with an opportunity to study in the STEM fields, including engineering, computer science, and computer engineering. These courses are heavily based around 3D printing, coding, and 3D design. Right now, I'm in one of St. Anthony's state-of-the-art labs. St. Anthony's offers such diverse science courses, including uh, anatomy, forensic science, AP environmental, physics, chemistry, biology at any level. Uh, anybody who comes to St. Anthony's is able to take whatever courses they're into, and in this lab, we're able to do dissections, ex experiments, and so many wonderful, interesting things. Right now, I'm in the St. Francis Medical Lab, standing in front of our state-of-the-art anatomage table. This classroom is also used as a lecture hall, and right now, an anatomy class is being taught by Dr. Cavadano. This is the College Center. St. Anthony's is so dedicated to getting their students into wonderful universities in America and abroad. Personally, I've utilized the College Center's opportunities in essay writing, financial aid help, um, sending transcripts, and even deciding where to apply. St. Anthony's offers so many wonderful opportunities um, in art courses. Uh, right behind me is Mr. Gino teaching a studio and art course to our freshmen. In addition to a class like that, we have pottery, AP art, art history, filmmaking, film appreciation, and so many more. Uh, St. Anthony's offers such a wonderful opportunity and so much variety um, in order to hone in on so many different disciplines. This is our band and orchestra room. It is open to all students. We have a variety of instruments to choose from between the band and the orchestra. We perform twice a year in school, and they also get to travel abroad and perform and travel and tour in other countries. <laughs> Thank you.
this is our chorus room, which holds one of the largest choruses in the United States. We do two performances every single year, and also travel internationally to other countries to perform. It is open to all students, including international students, and it's a lot of fun and a great way for students to express themselves in an artistic manner. start our presentation for tonight and our first speaker will be Chang. I will pass this to Chang right now. Hello Chang. Chang, you're muted. Hello. Yeah. So, uh, uh, hi guys. So my name is Chung Hun, and I am an uh, international student from Vietnam, and uh, I've been here for uh, since my tenth grade, and I'm a senior right now. So next year I'm going to UMass Amherst for college and I'm really, I'm really excited for my new journey. So uh, St. Anthony is known as a uh, big school in uh, sports and we have like a ton amount of achievement in this, uh, in this category. So uh, today I will share you the most, uh, one of the most uh, important aspect in the school. So, now, uh, so um, right here we have the three most popular sport in St. Anthony. So um, uh, we have track, we have lacrosse, and we have football. And uh, the student who play in these three sports, like they uh, they has been recruited by so many famous college such as um, Binghamton, such as uh, Duke, uh, the Duke, Duke, Duke School from uh, Lacrosse, um, Hamilton Soccer, and uh, yeah. So let's take a look at San Anthony Sport Team more closer. So currently, San Anthony offers uh, roughly thirty-five sports for students to participate. So there are like three main season within 10 sport each season. So uh, for numbers, so we have like 12 sport in the fall, 10 sport in the winter and uh, 14 sport in spring. So um, the uh, normal length of one season is two months. So students need to complete their sport physical and pass the tryout before officially join a team. So what is a sport physical? So the sport physical is the um, certificate that, um, that you need to do that said that you are qualified to join a sport. So this will measure your heartbeat, your, um, your, your scale, your height, your weight, and uh, they ask about your history of uh, like physical phys of your physical uh, physical health, such as like history of concussion, history of uh, headache while playing a sport, history of like any uh, like any hurt while uh, doing the sport or, or while doing physical activities, stuff like that. So students can join in as as many sport as they like in one year. However. Student cannot join uh, like two sport at the same time because like the schedule will overlap and they cannot like fully focus on one team. So they can join, for example, they can join uh, football in the uh, fall and then uh, maybe basketball in the uh, winter. So, 
uh, first year student, uh, especially first year uh, international student, can only practice with a sport team without competing. So, so this is like, so uh, from what I know, so uh, freshmen who uh, who first came here can uh, join the team and competing, but like student who join in like from 10th grade, like uh, who like transfer student, uh, this also applied to like transfer student in the US. So they cannot join the sport team in their first year. So uh, for example, so when I first came here uh, as a sophomore, I want to join the tennis team, but uh, the coach wasn't allow me to join because I came here as the uh, sophomore. So I transfer. So that's why I couldn't join. And um, lastly, so St. Anthony program has achieved the, the remarkable numbers of success in various sports, including the first national ranking in high school across the girls soccer state champion. Um, and like a lot of achievement in uh, football. And like I said, like a lot of students uh, have been recruited to famous college. And uh, that is one of the most proud thing that uh, St. Anthony like take pride in. So here is some image. So this is the uh, foot, uh, the homecoming football game. So what is homecoming football uh, game? So the homecoming game is like the big game of the season. And um, so each year, like uh, St. Anthony have like two, uh, have two, uh, have two homecoming games, one for football and one for basketball. So before the homecoming game, we have the day called pep rally. So pep rally is uh, used for to hype up the spirit of the uh, hype up the spirit of the athletes and give them the big uh, shout out like before they go to the match. So uh, what what we do is like we uh, uh, that like we call out and we let the uh, and we let the uh, and, and we let the student from uh, from each teams to uh, present, and then after that we uh, see uh, varsity kick line and cheers perform, and um, we have some uh, like fun uh, we have some fun uh, things to do after that, uh, such as like one of the traditional activities in uh, St. Anthony is the game between. I mean the basketball game between the freshman, the team, and the teachers. And uh, sometimes, like I remember, well, in my first year, so at the end of the pep rally, the uh, uh, Bird David gave a uh, gave a big surprise that uh, we have a day off on Monday, and uh, that was like a, uh, a gift from uh, our principal. And so we have, so this is the picture that the girls soccer wins the champions, the state champion. This is the basketball team. They uh, have been like uh, uh, at the top of the league recently. And this is the lacrosse. Like I said, they are right now first uh, nationally ranked in high school lacrosse. So now time for the, so my experience as an international student. So like I said, uh, I joined the tennis team the next year after my sophomore year. So I joined the JV in the junior year and I joined varsity in the senior year. So um, the process is kind of like complicated. So first, like you have to try out. And uh, normally we have 10 players in JV and 12 players in varsity. So after a week of tryouts, we will like cut players. Uh, luckily, like in my last year, like no one like cut, no one get cut. 
And uh, normally in a year, JV has to play uh, five games and uh, varsity ha has a uh, hectic, more hectic schedule. So they have like 10 games and the qualifiers, playoff and then finals. So, um, and uh, the practice, uh, usually like two hours uh, per weekday. So we practice from Monday to Friday. And um, like, it's been really fun experience for me because like after the long day of school, like we love stress, uh, I get to relax and enjoy uh, the sport with my uh, friends and friends and my uh, companions. So uh, right here, we have the pictures that we took uh, this year. So this is the picture for our first match against the Kellenberg, which is the school in the uh, Catholic High School Tennis League. So this is the match against the uh, public high school Northport. So uh, this is like the scrimmage where we play against the public high school. It's not count in the league. And we have the breakfast before the match. So the league we are competing uh, right now is the Catholic high school uh, league. So this is comprised of four school uh, Cullingburg, St. John's, Shamana, and uh, us, uh, and us, St. Anthony. So, uh, St. Anthony and Shamana are like a long time and big rivalry to each other. So, this year we are like pretty and great and hungry to uh, win the championship. And uh, we, we also had actually, we also had a match today at, against Cullingburg. Uh, and uh, we won 5-2. So uh, what I learned from joining the, the sport team and I think why new students should join is like I learned the spirit. I, want, I learned that like if you want something like you have to put effort in um, and like it's not going to be easy. I learned like discipline because like we practice every day and um, like there's like limit excuse for your missing and there's like 10 or 12 games per season, uh, per season. So it's really hectic and um, hectic schedule. So, but like we have to follow it. So I learned like discipline. Uh, I learned like teamwork because like uh, I'm in the third double. So I learned like about uh, the communication. I learned about the rhythm and I learned how to like form a tactics to uh, give the best uh, best tactics to win the match. I make like a lot of friends. So uh, like you see here and I actually like make a friend in uh, last year I make friends from China and we practice like outside school. We practice in the weekend so Last year, like I live near the tennis court. So like uh, we played together like once every twice, uh, once every two weekends. And uh, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I improved a lot in my physical, physical abilities. So yeah, uh, like tennis is the uh, physical demanding sport. So I have to, improve my uh, physical health and I learned about concentration so like in a match like you cannot make mistake so uh, you have to be on guard all this time so that's what I learned and gained from uh, the team and I think that's this is the good experience for not just the international student but also a uh, local student to uh, uh, participate. Here's the uh, St. Anthony Instagram, uh, St. Anthony tennis Instagram if you want to follow. So take like a peek in. So this is like what happened in
because when our what what usually we practice so we practice reflect So this is what we do before the game. One, two, three, Friars! One, two, three! Uh, this is our captain. And uh, this is like what we do after a game. Like we hype up. Friars on three! Friars on three! One, two, three, Friars! And that's it. Yeah, thank you for listening. <clears throat> thank you, Chang. So now we're moving forward with Clara with her business classes. Hi everyone, I'm Clara Zhao. I'm an international student from San Zinia High School. I'm a junior and today we're going to talk about business and entrepreneurship center. What I'm going to talk about today is, first of all, I'm going to give you a briefly introduce about our business center. Then I'm going to show you guys some pictures the course we're offering in business center. And finally, I will talk about my experience. Did you guys know that 93% like of high school students are considered financially illiterate and 83% of high school students graded themselves C, D, or F in their money management skill? I'm sure San Anthony High School building this business and entrepreneurship center is to help the situation and give our students a place for them to study financially ability. So the vision of creating business and business and entrepreneurship center is to develop a unique business program that will begin to develop future business later of tomorrow. The San Antonio High School Business Center will be dedicated to creating business momentum and through real world designed to be to prepare our students for college and the workforce. The mission of Business Center is to inspire students with interest in business and empower them to, pers to pursue business subject in, in university. And Sansony High School actually have established relationship with Barron in education program, the WISE program. The Bearing in Education program is to prepare the next generation of business leader to connecting business university, college, and high school to promote financial capability and education. The WISE program, San Anthony High School is actually the first Catholic high school in Long Island to offer its students with these special opportunities. The WISE program gives students the opportunity to get a certificate of financial literate. This is a one-of-a-kind opportunity that allows students to signal the college that our students have the skill to be financial savvy. And we actually invited guys, guest speaker to come to the school, talk about their experience in business, marketing. Okay. Now it's the picture time. This is my teacher, Mr. Um, Cardina. And the student, in the class. This is our equipment in the business center. We have 
computer. Then I'm gonna talk about a business course that offering. We have introductory to business, which is a college credit course. It will charge additional fee because it's a college credit course. It's a four year course. It gives you one credit and it's open for freshmen, open for sophomore and juniors. This is a course that designed to familiarize students with basic understanding of business practice in every level. It provides explanation of business and economic concept with practical application to help students to explore business opportunity and learn to make formal economic decision in future life. And in order to pass this course, you have to get a minimum final grade of 80%. Business law. This is also a college credit course. It's open for 11th and 12th grade students. This is a course that for students who are interested in law, it talk about law will affect students in daily life, American court system and procedures, criminal law and tort. The principle of marketing. This is a course that will be beneficial for students who are intended to major in marketing or business in university. They will also charge additional fee because it's a college credit course and it's open for junior and senior. And we have business data analytics and entrepreneurship. This is the course provides for 11th and 12th grade student. You can only take this course after you take the introduction to business. It teaches students how to understand the complex data and issue. It will also teach students the basic start of basic of starting a company. And this is the course I'm taking right now, business and personal finance. It's only a half year course, so you only get half credit for it. And this course is for students who are interested in finance, investing, and accounting. It will also teach you some basic knowledge about accounting. And we talk about student debit, good debit, bad debit, and budget. Your budget should be 50% of your need, like food, car, medical, and 30% of want. Entertainment, vacation, closing. And you should also save 20% for saving and investment to in case emergency. And we learn how to start a budget type of insurance. After so many business courses are provided in business center, I'm sure you must wondering which course will be highly recommended. So I asked my teacher, and the introductory to business and business and personal finance is highly recommended. It gives a really good overview for students who want to take business course because it's talk about how it cover the business information for additional business class. And for business and personal finance course, it teaches students the lesson and the tool that they use to be successful. My experience. So I'm really, really glad that I took this business and personal finance class when I select my course. I truly feel that this class helped me a lot. I learned a lot of new information about risk and 
benefit of credit card and debit card, different kind of loan and investment, and many, many more, like I showed you previously. I believe that these are really benefit for you, and you can actually learn from this class. We also do personal project, and what I did last time is we do a research on three different university, comparing them implicitly implicit and explicit cost. After the project, it made me realize which university I want to go to. And if you choose to come to San Anthony in the future, I sincerely, truly, and personally recommend to take a business course. And this is the project I was talking about. So I choose three different university, compare them together. And this, their cost and benefit. And we also talk about student loan. Uh, if you don't have enough money for it, um, what type of student loan we want to get, and how much, how many time, how long it would take you to pay it back. We also did this part that I found really interesting is that if you don't choose to go to university and you put this money in saving account or in stock market, how many money will get back? And do you guys know that plumber actually make a lot of money in USA? Because I didn't know it before I did this research and I found out that the income is really good. And it will make me want to be a plumber instead of studying university. And we do a personal reflection. And thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Clara. That was a great presentation. Now we move into Marissa to talk about her student council experience. Hi everyone, my name's Marissa and I'm a senior this year. I've been a part of St. Anthony since a freshman and I've lived here actually my whole life. Um, so I'm part of the student council and I'm secretary of the board. So I'd love to show you all about it. It says that I'm sharing, right? No, it did not. Um... Okay, let me try one more time. How about now? Yes, it's working now. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, first I'm just gonna tell you about student council and the things that we do. So um, basically we set up events at school for the student life as well as the teacher and the faculty. Then we also do soup kitchen and sandwiches. I'm gonna tell you guys more about this like in depth at, like later on in the slides. Then we also run like a canteen at football games and track invitationals, which is similar to like a concession stand. We'll like sell food to anybody who really wants it. Um, we organize a pep rally for the students. And we also do meetings to discuss like student ideas of what you guys think that should be at the school and such. So now here's where I go more into depth. So here's talking about soup kitchen and sandwiches. The student council meets frequently to make sandwiches with ham and turkey and cheese from the dress down money that we raise from the students. So with dress down day, obviously, as you guys may know, we have to wear a uniform that I'm in actually right now. And we have dress down days where we get to pay like 
five dollars to like wear our own clothes to school. So with that money, we don't just like take it and we actually donate it to buy all this stuff to make sandwiches and give it away to the people in need. And then we also attend actual soup kitchens and help serve the food to those who are coming in who need food. So it's actually like a really great experience to like even go to these soup kitchens because it makes you like feel like actually super grateful and stuff. And as you guys can see, a part of student council, like anybody can be a part of student council in these pictures, you could see like all grades and all that. So now we also do themes and dress down day organizing, as I said before. So in these pictures, one of the themes, we have Christmas sweater day. We have wearing all pink to one of our football games. We have a costume day for Halloween. The whole entire student council was cowboys and cowgirls. And then we also have something for the seniors where we all get to wear like senior t-shirts. So the student council helps to create all these themes for the students, which helps us all like get involved and have school spirit. And then, like I said before, we do the dress down money to raise money for um, the people in need. Now, these are some pictures that we've taken from the canteen at the football games and the track invitationals. So we do this similar to a concession stand. So we cook food like hot dogs and burgers, and then we'll hand out like snacks, like chips, candy, and then we hand out drinks to anybody who's watching the game. They have to pay, and obviously we use that money to actually, um, we fund it towards the student council, which funds towards all of like your pep rallies, um, all the decorating stuff for like any student life and faculty life. So then um, anybody's welcome to these games, like from all over the place, you could be part of St. Anthony's or not. So yeah, we come for serve. Now here's what I was saying before we set up student and faculty events. We set up things such as a principal's dinner, which is for the faculty. Um, we do junior ring day, which once you're a junior, you'll have junior prom, as well as an option to buy a junior ring. Um, so we set up, they have two separate things for that. So we set up both of those. Then we also have a Hawaiian night, which is a basketball game after um, the winter pep rally. And it's so fun. We have all these things to offer you guys, just so you guys get more like involved at the school and stuff and meet new people. Then we also have something called powder puff football, which is offered as a junior as well. So your junior year is definitely very packed with a bunch of stuff. Then your junior prom, we set up graduation. Um, all the pep rallies, which we have one for um, the fall pep rally and uh, the winter pep rally. Then we also have a grandparents brunch where like there's a mass set up for them and everything and all sorts of things. So that's just a few of them. Then the St. Anthony's, we also organize a fall and spring car wash to wait, uh, raise more money for the student council. So this is like super fun. Like we all have a blast. You can see in these pictures, like it's so much fun. Like you would think that you're working the whole time, but like, I love going to all these events and we could actually get volunteers. Like if you're not a part of student council to get service hours, if you become a part of NHS, which is National Honor Society. So you'll hear more about that too. Um, but yeah, it's like super fun even just being a part of student council. Then there's the winter pep rally in Hawaii night, which I briefly told you guys about before. So we set up all the decorations. We organize the teams and their posters that they walk through. Then we also have something called a boys pep squad, which is really fun. Like all the boys like do a fun dance that the girls kickline team makes up. It's like really, really funny. And then we have a teacher versus students basketball game, which is always fun to watch. The teachers always win. And then um, at night we have the Hawaiian basketball game night. So we have all these things for you guys to get involved in, to meet new people and just make new friends. Like it's making memories. Like I literally wish I could go back in time and redo all this all over again. Then we have, um, we also organize the freshman orientation day. So on this day, um, if you guys are coming in as a freshman or actually we do all the orientation days, but mainly the freshman one because we have to get them set up with like meeting new friends, introducing them to each other, telling them about the school and the clubs that they should get involved in and just making them feel comfortable. Like we hand out the books that they need to get to prepare themselves for the year and all that. So most of all, my favorite part of student council is just making lifelong friends. Um, student council invites literally any person to be a part of it. You don't need any requirements. You can sign up. Um, the people who run it are literally 
amazing teachers and administrators. Like I love them. They're amazing. And they're always there for you. Like these teachers at this school, like I could tell you have had my back, like through everything that I've gone through. Like it's actually like making friends. And I could tell you that like, they will be there for you through whatever you need. Even if like, it's just as simple as like making a friend or something like it's so simple like as that. Um, and everything student council is so diverse with our grades and like we have freshmen to seniors like everybody's a part of it and we make everybody fit in we're all friends with each other and it's just so much fun like setting up and being an important advocate for your school and you make friends for literally a lifetime so thank you for listening thank you so much marissa um, so we do have a question right here for the admission requirements from Joe Kai. So, um, so to brief answer your question as a 10th grade transfer student for international student, um, you will have to provide at least three years of um, your high school transcript. And also you need a two recommendation letters from your math teacher and your also um, your English teacher. And you will require to have a minimum standard uh, GPA of 80% or plus. And then for um, English requirements, the minimum TOEFL score is 35. So you can get other tests, which is equivalent to TOEFL. Lots of um, students actually um, prefer to do like, we also do assessment tests once you see your application as well. Um, so for the rest of those, uh, we do provide three levels, different uh, English support, uh, ESL classes, once you enroll, depends on uh, your English proficiency score. So we will, uh, based on the proficiency score, which you provide in your application to um, to the, uh, to see which level you will be in. And then if you able to provide higher score before the school starts, we will able to adjust your acceptance letter as well. So um, that's for standard 10th grade transfer international student requirements. Um, if you have any additional questions, you're welcome to ask and I'm happy to answer. And here the section is actually for Q&A section. So do we have any more questions that you want to ask Kevin or ask our student ambassadors about St. Anthony High School? Um, I see a question like in the chat. Um, should I answer that? It's yeah. about like, uh -huh. all right. So um, to your question about like the best way for them to make friends, honestly, the greatest way to make friends that I've met um, international students is through actually the person that you live with. My friend is on um, student council, actually, Mikey Turner and his, um, he, the person that stays with him, I think is from France. And like, Mikey really helps like introducing him, showing him around the whole school, like getting him involved right off the bat. And like, he met so many people. Like I can tell you this kid has like so many friends. He's so involved at our school. Um, but I think that they should definitely like get involved in clubs, like regardless, because that's just a great thing to pique your interest sports are always great too like if you're interested in all these things because that way you'll meet people with like similar interests but honestly the person that will help you the most I think is the person that you're staying with thank you Marissa yeah Marissa I, I, that's an awesome comment I just uh silly if you don't mind I just wanted to highlight there um Marissa was talking about a in a so, so Marisa is an American student um, and she was talking about her friend, uh, Mikey, who's also an American student at St. Anthony's. Um, and in his home, one of our international students are staying there. Um, so it's, it, which is not an uncommon thing, um, which it's, it's, a, it's a really cool part of the program where you're, you're living in a house you know, with another, another student. Um, and the, the, you know, the St. Anthony's community is extremely welcoming of our, of our international students. Um, as a whole, but also, you know, individually, Mikey sounds like an awesome guy. I haven't had a chance to meet him, um, but but it's so kind to hear that he, you know, was was bringing, you know, his new international homestay brother um, from France around to meet his friends and get to, you know, be a part of his social network. Um, so it's that's an awesome. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that everyone sort of understood exactly that uh, that story because it's a really cool story and uh, it warms my heart. It, I, I love hearing stories like that. So. 
So thanks, Marisa, for, for, for sharing that. You're welcome. So well, Marisa, there's another question for you. Do you think- Yeah, I was just about well? to say with the student council. Uh -huh. um, absolutely about the leadership skills. I can tell you, I joined actually junior year and it literally like prepared, like it prepared me for college in a way because like, I feel like um, not only that I developed leadership skills, but I'm also so much more organized and I'm so much better at like communicating with people. Like, because when you're on student council, you have to deal with, um, your students around you, like they have suggestions for what they think would be good for the school. So you as a leader need to go about that and talk to the administrators of the student council and offer these ideas. So basically, if you think about it, student council is like, you're kind of trying to help your students and your peers around you, like get their ideas across in a way. So it definitely prepped me for college and definitely helped me for leadership skills. I really recommend getting involved. Great, thank you so much, Marisa. There's another question. I think it's catered towards to Chang and the Clara. It's about how's the weekend life looks like as an international student. Um, so like there's a lot of things you can do in a weekend. So uh, you can go to the city. So uh, uh right like we live here is like uh, Long Island, which is like a superb. So you can go to the city. So it's only take like around like one hours to go there by uh, train and uh, for me like uh, I usually like go to play tennis with my friends this is like I have a group of friends including uh, like student from China and the local student like we play like uh, not uh, like uh, we play on weekends and also I go to the uh, the district library so like each district uh in the u.s has a library so like i, I usually go with my friends yeah so like th there's a lot of things you can do on weekends yeah thank you do you want to share your um, experience clara um sure um and since uh since near high school is really in Ireland, and since um as Chun say, you can go to the Manhattan, you can go to Flushing and Brooklyn. It's really cool to see the Brooklyn Bridge or the Times Square. I would definitely highly recommend you to go there if you're in New York. And just in Long Island, you also have a lot of fun place to go. You can go to the museum, the zoo, and you can go to a shopping mall. There's so many fun stuff you can do on the weekend. I just want to add one more thing. Um, I think Clara was in the city last week, and then she went to the Roosevelt Island, which is for the Sakura Festival. So in New York City every year um, in Roosevelt Island, um, there's like Sakura, Sakura Blossom. A lot of students are actually going there taking pictures and having picnics as well. Uh, also, I want to add that like, uh, so you to be, like has like several uh several uh, several uh, several American experience that uh, you can join using the uh, points. So uh, we usually go to like uh, the la last two week before break, like we go to the zip line, uh, and then uh, for Halloween we go to the uh, um to the pumpkin field. Uh, and we go to the uh, scare house uh, uh, and uh, like last two years like we uh, we have like a two day uh, two we have like a two day we have like a two day college trip where like we stay in the hotel for a day and uh, we uh, go to, to see the college yeah there's like a lot of things that uh, you to be like has for the international student. Okay. Also for Joe Kai's question about university destinations from last a couple of years. Um, for this question, I think our student ambassadors are actually able to answer your questions right here because Chan and Marisa actually is graduating this year and they all both get into a, accepted by a really nice university that as we were talking about before and Chan actually got accepted by top 50 universities and he could share some of the updated information here with you as well. 
Um, I'm sorry. So, what's the question again? So, um, he's wondering, uh, what, where, what's the university destinations from the last couple of the years our students going to? You can share off your personal experience about your university okay. acceptances for this year. So, like for most the international students, I know most of my friends, like uh, not most, but like they uh tend to go to the UMass Amherst where I'm uh, go next year. Uh, that's a good school and there's a lot of the international student there and there's a lot of like the, there's a lot of the alumni from this school. And also um, Northeastern is where most uh, like local students go. Uh, that's also in uh, Massachusetts. And uh, that's a big school for uh, like uh, for like Kamsai, for econ and lots of things. Um, and also, uh, like I said, so student uh, also has been recruited in big school such as uh, Binghamton, Stony Brook, uh, like Duke, and yeah, that's what I know. Marissa, do you want to share some inside story of domestic students where they like to go to for university destinations? Um, honestly, the best people that can help you with that decision would be um, your guidance counselors, actually. They guided me through that. I totally had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I was interested in either attending Boston or um, staying home because I just like, I personally like love Long Island so much. Like, I don't want to leave, but um, I ended up having to choose between Boston University and Hofstra. And like I said before, I just love it here so much. I ended up choosing Hofstra. So, and I got so much experience from going to the school, like all the different class opportunities. And if you want to major in business, like seriously, the school, ma majoring in business or STEM, especially, like this school really preps you for that. And um, I visited Hofstra the other day and they have so many like different technological uh, like opportunities there. And our school like has that now. So our school is kind of almost like a mini college campus. So it really does prep you. Yeah. Um, so also for this year, um, we have a lot of students choose to decide in New York City. So the best schools you can go is NYU. It's a very popular schools for international students and also the Mac students to attend. Um, we have a class of 2022 student, international student who um, graduating this year from uh, St. Anthony. He got accepted by NYU and then we actually did an interview with him as well. So if you want to know more information on that, um, we will able to send you the information if you wanted to see it. And then uh, Kevin, I think there's a question catered towards you about the criminal discrimination cases against Asians or especially Chinese students. Sure, so he's just, just asking about that and, and what the environment is like at St. Anthony's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, um, I, you know, I, I feel terrible that I even, that question even comes up, of course. Um, but, um, you know, I think, is a lot of news in the United States around that topic, uh, of course. Um, but I, I, you know, I sort of feel like our students are in a little bit of a bubble at St. Anthony's, where um, you know the environment here is, is is really respectful and welcoming of our international students. We, we're a, we're a big part of the school. Um, you know, we're we're have been as much as 250, 300 students. Um, you know, international students as part of the St. Anthony's community. They've welcomed us with op open arms. Um, you know, although at, you know at times in the United States, in you know different different parts of the world, this is an issue to deal with. You know, at St. Anthony's, it, it's it's an, an incredibly welcoming community. Our host family network is incredibly welcoming. Um, you know, that just a little anecdote that Marisa uh, Marissa shared is you know sort of an, an example of that. Um, you know, but I I I, I really want to assure. Um, you know, families and students that that coming here to Long Island, coming here to St. Anthony's, they're coming to a community that is, op you know, opening their hearts and to them and, and with you know, welcoming them with open arms. Um, the leadership is extremely supportive. Um, the student body is extremely supportive. Um, you know, but I, I, you know, I, 
you know, Clara, uh, Chong, Maurice, Mar Marissa, if you guys have want to want to talk about your experiences, you know, please do. Um, you know, but I, I, I it's, a, it's a serious topic and one that uh, I want to be respectful of, of course, but I, I, I really feel like we, you know, we do definitely you, in Amerigo and St. Anthony's do all we can to make sure that, um, you know, things like that don't don't happen in this community. Um, and that, you know, we send the strongest signals possible and have, have strong policies um, to, to make sure they don't. Even though we do have situation happening, but I'm sure you're protected by the student, by the principal and the, um, the general office, we help to avoid that situation. So I think what Mar uh, what Clara trying to say is whenever those cases happen, um, the students will report to the teachers and our on-campus stuff, and they will make a move on that. They will make sure to make those um, cases will never happen again. Uh, I just want to add like a student who stayed here for two years. So like yeah, you'll be like protected by the teachers and by the UTB, so yeah. Thank you, Chan, Clara. Do we have any more questions? Yeah, I think uh, should be good for tonight. And I'm sorry, uh, Marissa has to go. She has a family emergency. And uh, thank you so much for your time to join our events tonight. I hope you had a great, um, enjoy the, the events from all our student ambassadors. And thank you so much for Kevin's support. And um, have, I hope you all have a great night and have a good day, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. Great job, Clara. Great job, Tron. Great job, Marissa. Thank Thanks, Celia. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good night.